Okay, this is the 1955 Packard 400. Just started the car up. Everything works. The radio will turn on. You'll see a light, but we're not getting a signal. So, it's just the lights are on. Antenna. Antenna does go up and down, so the power antenna works. Heater. It's blowing. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it. Antenna's going all the way down. But the heater does work. What's That's the rear heater. Okay, and I can hear it blowing, but hard to get a visual here. Here we've got some old stickers that go all the way back to 1963 showing that the car had 25,486 and 89 it had 39,000 miles. There's another sticker on there in 84 can't see the mileage. The car says it has 52,104. Believe that to be original. Does match up with the stickers. Uh, let's try the power windows, Brian. Power windows go up and down quick. They're not sluggish at all. You can see there's the other window. Now let's do the rear. Rear. And again, they're, they're not sluggish at all. You can see the interior lights are all working. And now we're going to go around and... Oh, let's do the seats. Power seat works. That's raising me up. Yep. Pulling me back down. So everything works on the car. About the only thing is, is the radio. It's got the wide white wall tires on it. Engine sounds good. Let's put the lights on. Okay, there's the lights. Blinkers, there's the brights. There's the one blinker. Let's do the other. That blinker's working. As you can see, this side light here is on because the door is open, and you can see one of them will go off when the headlights shut. And there you go. There's the headlights on, and then the door opens, the bottom light goes on. Both of those lights do work on both sides. Exhaust is coming out where it's supposed to. It's not bypassed. There's your there's the blinker, the other blinker. Let's do backup, Brian. Okay. And brakes, there you go. All the lights, everything works on this car. Believe it to be an original Miles car. Runs great. Wouldn't be afraid to drive this car anywhere. Uh, it's just recently been on a 200 mile trip. And it handles wonderfully. You see the car sits nice and level. Uh, that torsion system does work. So I can't think of anything that doesn't work on this car. It's a wonderful car. It's a Survivor 400. Beautiful car. We'll drive it forward. Or backwards. We would take the car for a drive, but Michigan weather is kind of crummy. So we just got to do what we can here to show that it does start, does run. Engine sounds great. It's a great car. Great all around car. Again, a true survivor. Wonderful car. Nice trim. Nice bumpers. Paint, you can see, is basically original. Horn works. You can see the thinness on there. Again, all original paint. This is my 1955 Packard 400. It's an all original car. It's very nice. Um, it's you can drive this car anywhere 
mechanically it's extremely sound everything works on the car um, it, it's just a great driver and I'm gonna take a picture here of just to show you most of it is original paint there's a little touch up here and there if you can see here below the lower rockers there's a white paint I'll show you the inside of the rockers though it's rock solid you can see a little popping going on right here. This may have been touched up, but bottom line is, is it's solid. That's one of the worst spots, I think, on the car. If you look at the rest of it, it's, you don't see anything. Magnet sticks all over. There's no, there's no Bondo. That's the original green paint. It's thin, so if someone's looking for a nice original car, a Survivor, this is it. I don't think they get much nicer. It'll take a whole bunch more pictures to show it a little better. But look, trim is nice. If you can see, maybe it needs to be polished up a little bit. Little tiny bits of surface rust here and there. But it's not pitted. A couple scratches. Again, most of the paint is original. The lower rockers. You can see this is a different white, so someone touched it up at one point in time to help save it. I think that little spot right here may be the only Bondo on this car. It sticks all around. You can see the touch up right here. It's not a bad blend. Just doesn't quite stick, but sticks immediately above that spot. So there it is right there with the bubble. We're spot on the car. In a minute here, I'm going to show you the underside of the car. But uh, it is extremely, extremely solid. Again, all the spots that you normally would see rust just isn't there. Doors are great. And uh, again, trim, everything is here on the car. It's very complete. I'm going to show you the underside now. The floors, everything is very, very solid. Uh, I took quite a few photos of it, but this is just trying to get you a glimpse of everything with the video. Just look up in there. You don't see patching. You don't see a replacement of anything. Those floors are rock solid. I don't know that I've ever seen a 55 that looks like this underneath that has not been restored. And I have owned a couple of them. It's a great car. All we do is power wash the underside, clean it up a little bit, and try leaving everything so you could see it as is. Again, just take a look at those floors. Very solid. Might see a little tiny drip here of oil. That's the only spot. Engine is solid. I'll start it up later to show it to you. Doors are extremely solid. Just look at the underside. There is absolutely no rust. Again, you're looking at original paint on this car, original trim. It's all very, very nice. We'll get over here to the other door. And again, same thing. Solid. You see a little bit of surface rust on this door. That is surface rust. That's not, there's nothing patched there. Rack solid. I'll show you the interior a little later. This is all original. It's original door panels. Just a nice car.